What's going on, everybody? It's Peso Saint the Fresh, as you can see. We caught Miss the Fabulous, the Beautiful. What what else? What other adjective should I use to describe you? The mom. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> the mom, Tamika Raymond. How's everything going today? Everything's good. I'm getting um, some touch-ups from the fabulous Donovan Lamar. He's hooking me up so I can be ready for the class. Now, we're out here getting ready for style theory. Yes. What is the style theory? What what kind of theories and style can you offer to everybody out there? Oh, I got so many, man. You got to you, you gotta get a ticket. <laughs> if I tell you, I got to kill you. No, I'm kidding. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> I don't want it. I don't want it. No, I have a lot of opinions. I um. I'm, you know, I'm known to be highly opinionated, mm -hmm. and I, um, I have a lot of theories about fashion. Like, I'll give you an example. I hate white bras. Oh. Now, people don't always understand why, but I'll explain it. I'll break it down in the class as to why a white bra just does not work. Mm -hmm. It doesn't go on anything, if you think about it. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, I don't think about it. I think you should just lose the bras. I think everybody should just take their bras off, and I'll be comfortable with that. <laughs> this man's a mess. Child, you have boobs falling out the bottom of dresses. Mm -hmm. I've seen I've seen the braless look. That don't always work. It depends on your body. Okay. I speak about that, too, when you can do it and when you can't. For example, with makeup, um, we cover things like when to bronze and when not to bronze. Uh, some women just put bronzer all over and end up looking like a penny. They be out on the beach looking like a straight up penny. You're like, what? A penny for your thoughts, boo. And then um, we talk about hair, you know, when to weave, when not to weave, you know, what looks good on what face shape. There's just a lot of different tips that we give. And people ask questions the whole time. We answer them. And we really, uh, I, think, I think they leave able to make their first 30 second impression. And that's what the whole theory of it all is. Now, speaking about style, I know a lot of people that are in the fashion industry or, you know, makeup, things like that, they encourage people to exercise self-confidence. But is there something that's over self-confidence, like you, like wearing something that's not specifically for your figure? I saw that last night, actually. Oh. This beach. Welcome to Miami. Oh, man. <laughs> I saw some serious violations. I said, these might even be health code violations. Oh, this is just... I, listen, I was in a restaurant last night. Mm -hmm. Girl walked in, said she went to Spelman. Mm -hmm. I said, how would Janetta be cold feel about this? When I tell you she had on a thong and the, her butt was wider than the chair, it just didn't make a lot of sense. So you, you, everybody's not meant to be a size four or a six. So I don't advocate being skinny or anorexia. However, you dress for your body type. You know what I mean? Just appropriate. You, you can't represent, come on, if you walked in and Michelle Obama was in the restaurant, I wanted to say that to this woman. She said she's about to graduate from Spelman, and I was just a little disappointed. Only because I said, you never know who you're going to encounter, you know. True. Um, you can have fun, but you, use moderation and be smart. Well, definitely shout out to HBCUs. I'm a fam Ewan oh. in the house. <laughs> Strike. <laughs> oh, Lord. Now, a lot of people, you know, everyone wants to be fashionable, but sometimes things get very expensive. What type of tips do you have for people trying to get that, I guess, high-end look, but on a lower-end budget? Honestly speaking, nowadays, you do not have to spend a whole lot to be fashionable. There are so many resources. Have you seen these Instagram boutiques? Yep. Bunch. I mean, wow, they really have, they're knocking off almost every designer. I'm not, I'm not a fan of knockoffs personally, but there's stuff that is uh, inspired by other designers that you can wear. You have no reason to look bad these days, I'll tell you. And you can do it affordably. There's, you can get, you can ball on a budget nowadays. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> yeah, and I've seen it. I've seen it, and I'm like, I've seen, uh, even Kim Kardashian, who has, you know, probably who gobs of money, she um, wore a dress and she like shouted out the boutique and I, I want to say it was like 70 bucks or something, but it looked amazing on her body. And it's really about that, finding things that really work with your body and your frame. And um, yeah, I mean, I just, I don't think it's about following a trend or, or having confidence in the designer that you're wearing. It's about having confidence in yourself. Now, recently, I was speaking with uh, June Ambrose about being, you know, a leader in fashion. June. Shout out June. She was wonderful. I talked to her. Fly and she was fierce, and I love her. Yeah. And she was explaining to me that pretty much in style, she feels like she has so much more to achieve as far as her career in that. What do you think? What do you look forward to the future for yourself? You know what? Um, it's funny. June June is is fashionista number one. But for me, 
I think I am um, more. Wait, hold on one second. I think we should do like lips or something while he's doing this. I'm trying to talk a little bit. So I can just have a camera for a second. Okay. Oh Lord, that's you. I ain't got no fire extinguisher on my phone. With fire drill. Everybody get out of here. This man's phone. Okay. Um, I was going to say, in terms of style, I really am branching it. I love interior design. As much as I love fashion, I have the same zeal for interior decorating. I love all things aesthetic anyway. I can decorate anything. I can remake anything, remodel anything. So I really want to kind of move into home. Okay. Yeah. Now, as far as moving into home, what's the, I guess, difference between styling a human body and like difference to styling a home you'd be that you're going to live in? Let me tell you, you would be amazed. There's not much difference. Yeah. Because I would never put any fabrics in my home or choose any woods in my home that I wouldn't wear. You know what I mean? So when I choose woods, like for a countertop or anything, I would probably wear bangles like that. I'd wear the handle, like a horn handle for my handbags. It's all, it's a really fine line. The color scheme, um, the way your whole feng shui feels in your house, it's the same way I dress. Well, y'all got it right here. Mr. Tamika Raymond. Jacket on, honey. You can make a jacket out of my couch. <laughs> <laughs> same fabrics, all good. Yeah, we appreciate your time so much. Is there anything else that you would like to leave us with? Um, my book, White Bras and 101 Other Style Faux Pas, will be available soon. Now it's only available if you come to the tour and if you come to the workshop, but um, it will be available on wide release very soon, this summer. We appreciate it, man. We out here. Thank yeah. you.